Hello everybody and welcome back to Scrolls. Today I will be doing a deck guide. Uh, I'm doing it on my test server because um, the patch hasn't yet hit. I'm recording this a few days ahead because, as I said in a few other videos, I am busy so I'm getting all this done now uh, to give me time to do things. Anyway, today I will be showing you uh, the Mono Order Aggro deck that uh, I am going to be aiming to build on my new account that I'm making on Monday or today because that's when I'm releasing it. Uh, so this is a deck that I'm going to be trying to build. It's pretty cheap, apart from uh, two of the scrolls, which are new, uh, which are going to be a pain in the backside to get because they're so expensive. Uh, but yes, Mono Order Aggro, I'm going to be building it. Okay, so we start off with the main premise of the deck. That is to take advantage of Wings Captain. Now Wings Captain is a new scroll. Uh, it costs four. It's a human soldier, 324, and when its countdown becomes Norse, all adjacent soldiers have their countdown decreased by one and their move increased by one until end of turn. So, oops. so this is probably going to end up being the best scroll in the game. Uh, it is just absolutely amazing. Uh, just getting like such large countdown manipulation with such uh, a cheap scroll and creatures is so good. Uh, Honourable General has already proven its worth. Uh, in the format, and that takes a speed to get its countdown to uh, go to zero. This uh, really just, with a two countdown, uh, really does a lot. A lot. Uh, it may only decrease the countdown by one, and gen uh, general decreases it by two, uh, but you're not too bothered about that, and it only affects soldiers as well. It doesn't matter, uh, it really can make everything attack. And also, the move increase can be quite significant, it means that you can build up the bottom and then make your way to the middle. Uh, just in one big sweep, so it's a new orders in itself. Uh, so yeah, I don't really see anything being too much better than this uh, in the meta. It is just seriously amazingly good. And also the uh, scroll that works with it well is Fleetness. Uh, Fleetness is also a new scroll. Uh, Enchanted Unit's base countdown is reduced by one. Uh, so we're aiming to put this on Wings Captain, giving it a countdown of one each turn, it will go off making everything around it countdown go down as well so everything's attacking each turn that's the main aim of a deck which will make everything attack and win as quickly as possible so to aid us in uh, our aggressive tactics we need soldiers so we go along with wings captain so the countdown will go down and we've got five incredibly aggressive cheap powerful order creatures to help us do that so we have crossbowman which is a one cost human soldier Four, a four attack, three countdown, two health, and ranged attack. So although this may not attack too often, the three countdown is pretty significantly high, and its health is pretty low. Uh, the attack is amazing, and if you've got two wings captain together, it can attack each turn. Uh, and this with two focuses can take out an idol. So it does a lot of work sometimes, and also it helps you go turn one crossbowman, turn two duke infantryman, uh, turn three uh, wing shield, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, that kind of helps to get that up to armor too. Uh, then we've got Duke and Infantryman, uh, so human soldier for two. One, two, three. All other creatures you control in the same way as Duke and Infantryman gain plus one attack. So this can help you uh, just basically go up to four attack, which you kind of need with all the three attack creatures we've got, like Raw Skirmisher and Duke of Skirmisher and Wing Soldier. Help us get up to four, which kind of lets you kill a hell of a lot more things. Also lets you just uh, gain plus two attack on the road pretty much and do that extra bit of damage we need to do, so that's pretty good. Three health is not to be laughed at as well on this sort of thing. Uh, the difference between two and three is quite significant as well with dominance of decay, uh, so this helps out that as well. Uh, we've got Wing Soldier, uh, two cost human soldier, three two two, vanilla, so it may not seem anything special, but three attack for two is pretty good. Uh, and it does a bit of work, it's not fantastic. Uh, but let's get some early aggression in, which I like. Uh, then we've got the Skirmishers, Royal Skirmisher, th cost 3, 3, 2, 3 with Relentless, and Ducal Skirmisher, 3, 2, 4 with Relentless for 4. So these two guys are uh, basically main targets for some of the enchantments which we'll go through later. Uh, the Relentless aspect helps with Focus and Call as Bane, things like that. Uh, but yeah, just pretty solid creatures which we are after with this deck. Trying to keep them all alive and make them attacks as possible to attack as much as possible rather and take full advantage of their strength. So that was the uh, aggressive scrolls and uh, now we have the sort of creatures and enchantments to give us some sort of defence so we can actually like survive throughout this game. 
although we're going to try and win as quickly as possible, we are going to get pounded, and we need to try and offer some defence so that doesn't uh, happen before we win. Uh, so we've got two creatures here, Raw Spearman, uh, cost three, it's a human soldier. 2-2-3 two, two, with Spiky 2, uh, so that Spiky 2, uh, when Raw Spearman is attacked in melee, it deals two damage to that attacking unit. So this will kind of deter the opponent's creatures from attacking, and if we do, they take two damage and you'll be able to take them out. Uh, two attacks pretty good as well, I mean, there's Ducal Spearman, which costs four, and it's a 1-2-4. Uh, if it was a 2-2-4, two, two, maybe that would be in as well. It's not because of that one attack, it's just too low. Uh, so Raw Spearman does enough there. And then we've got Wing Shield also. Uh, cost 3, it's a 2-2-3 two, two, Human Soldier. Soldiers are important. Uh, wing Shield has Armour X, where X is the number of units behind it. Combat damage dealt to Wing Shield is decreased by X. There you go. Uh, so, as I said, we've got the Crossbowman, Duke Infantryman, Wing Soldier things to put down before we play Wing Shield. At least that's the aim. So we get a nice solid defence going on. A veteran attacking this will only do one damage, uh, so it really is uh, a key uh, creature in this deck. Uh, lastly, we've got Crown of Strength. Well, lastly, for this section, a Crown of Strength uh, gives an enchanted unit plus one attack and plus two health. May not seem special at all, but it does do uh, quite significant work. Uh, plus one attack's nice, but it's mainly the plus two health. Just putting that on, say, Wing Shields to give that five health or healing something up. Or putting out of burn, putting things out of burn rage, soul steel rage, any poison effect, just to try and keep it alive, really, really does help in this uh, in this deck. That's why Crown Strength is in here. I tried other things like Faith Chains and uh, Roasted Bean Potion Plate Armor, which are okay, but I think the extra health that this uh, thing gives really is significant for this deck, and really allows it to uh, allows it to work. Okay, so next look at, we have our sort of direct damage spells. Uh, these allow us to uh, obviously do direct damage, but if we are in trouble, uh, this will help us out. Uh, so Caller's Bane is incredibly good. It's a new scroll also. Uh, it's cost two, it's an enchantment. Uh, when it enchanted unit deals combat damage to an idol, other idols on the same side are dealt one damage. So you just hit him with, a, say, a wing soldier for three, or the other idol will take one. This really does add up and allows you to spread damage. Uh, so this will reduce the other idols quite significantly whilst you're just targeting an idol. And then Decimation uh, is sort of a win con. Uh, you'd rather it not be, but it is. It's quite necessary. So you can afford to leave like an, an idol on, say, two or three health, knowing that you've got Decimation in your deck. So if you do lose your creatures, you can always keep trying to find this and win that way. Uh, the one damage it does for creatures can help as well, just to help you get through. Maybe a few mangy rats or my shamblers or sisters of the foxes, things like that. Just try and get those out of the way to allow you to get through and hit whatever's behind it, mainly the idol or creature. Uh, so that can help also, but Call of Bane is really a ne uh, necessary point in this deck. Uh, put it next to something like the Wings Captain, or even on Wings Captain, can help. It's mainly the target for Relentless Creature, because uh, they can hit the creature and they hit the idol afterwards. That helps. So anything you can do with Call of Bane to make uh, you unit attack as much as possible with this uh, really can help you win this deck. Okay then lastly we have our sort of control uh, cards. Uh, we've got three Blessing of Haste, three Focus, three Hall of Ages, three Flip and two Pushback. Uh, Blessing of Haste is excellent with Wings Captain. Uh, allows you to make its effect go off one turn earlier. Say when you play it straight away turn four, turn five you can play Blessing of Haste and uh, let everything around it attack. That's really excellent. Also, just lets you get that extra bit of damage on an idol if you need to. Uh, it had speed in this deck instead of pushback, uh, but speed never got played. And Blessing Haste is just so much better in this sort of aggressive deck. So you really, really, really want to uh, use these sparingly in situations, but when you do, you, then you really need to take full advantage of them. Especially if the same happens with focus. Uh, use this to pump up your creatures, like even this guys, when in chance with Call's Bane, so you can get the attack on the idol. Uh, take out bigger threats, like Vanguards. Uh, generals, Iron Ogres, uh, oh, what other things are there? Big decay things, you know, uh, mainly things like that. You're looking to get through with focus. Uh, that can help, and also just to take out an idol and do that extra bit of damage. Maybe reduce the idol to two health, so you know decimation could take care of it. Uh, I wouldn't just do it when you're starting off in the game. Just like you got to say a creature out, play focus, just because you can get more damage on. You want to use it in the correct situation. That's maybe later on in the game when you are close to winning. 
maybe just take out an idol, meaning you've got like one or two left uh, that are on low health, which you need to take out with decimation. So you've got to do well timed uh, boost of a attack with this. Horn of Ages, uh, all units opponent controls have a move decreased by one until end opponent's turn. This is to make sure that if you are in a bit of an iffy situation, your opponent won't be able to attack your creatures. So say you've got all your creatures lined up here and there or here ready to attack. You can play Horn of Ages knowing that you're safe and you can keep hold of your position. Uh, yes, there's many, many a, a defensive scroll, but it does really help, uh, especially when your opponent's about to put some pain on you. Uh, flip, uh, it's just been flipping Pother. I think flip is now better, especially now that Pother costs two. Uh, Pother does draw your scroll, but flip you really want to move him out of the way properly, and Pother it has a bit of a RNG uh, smell about it. So you do want to control where you put in your opponent's stuff. And flip allow to move them that way, allow you to get access to the idol, or in fact move a creature or unit in front of your creatures, allowing you to destroy them, which can sometimes be a correct thing to do, but mainly looking to use them to move your opponent's stuff out of the way. And we've got pushback, as I said, this used to be speed, no longer. Uh, you do need to be able to control your opponent's board. You're going to have about three or four creatures on the board, they may play something big. Uh, so you're going to be destroying their stuff, they may play a vanguard or whatever and you're unable to do anything. So pushback is there just to help you destroy it. So you've got like cannon automaton. You play pushback, you're fine. And also it'll help you go through to an idol. And that really, really helps you. Uh, so yeah, that is the deck. And I thought I'd show you all. Uh, so there you go. I'll go for it again. Three Blessing Haste, three Crossbowmen, three Focus, three Horn of Ages, three Callers Bane, three Crown of Shump, three Ducal Infantry One, three Fleetness, three Flip, three Wing Soldier, three Decimation, three Royal Skirmisher, three Royal Spearman, three Wing Shield, three Ducal Skirmisher, two Pushback, and three Wings Captain. And now, as always, I will play a game with it to show you um, its effectiveness. Okay then, right, so we're going second, which isn't preferable, I'm playing against Decay, which uh, probably the toughest matchup of this deck, uh, maybe, but our hand is pretty groovy, we got a nice turn 2 and 3 and 4 play, so we'll get rid of, uh, um, what should we get rid of, I don't know, I want 2-2 two, two drops, I'm going to keep hold of pushback, because we've got to prioritise Duke of Chimino Wing Soldier, and I think Duke of Chimino is going to be better against Decay, they're going to have things like uh, Soul Steel, which we're going to have to look out for, and... So still affects things with two health. Duke Lichman has three. Uh, so we get him to flip. And play with Duke Lichman. Good. Got away with that. Alright, so now we can play our three drop. Um, wings Captain. Double Wings Captain is going to be good because we're going to want um, the extra movement. will come in handy. I think it'll be better than the Skirmisher. Okay, now I've got to think. Do I want to play Wings Captain? Yes, I do. However, this being able to attack, well, we have to take out this. So I think I'm just going to have to push back uh, this and take out uh, the Maya Shambler. And I've got Wings Captain to come up. That's my follow up play. I've got double, which is pretty good. He's still looking to engage me here, which I'm not too happy about. Uh, let's get Wings Captain down. Oh, good, so we've got Horn of Ages. So if he does try and attack, um, I can just Horn of Ages move out of the way. And which doctor? Okay. So I'm going to play Horn of Ages. We will get rid of Crown of Strength here. I've got Fleetness as well. Okay, so that can't move. We will play Fleetness on the Wings Captain. So that's now got a base countdown of one, uh, meaning it will make everything attack each turn as long as it survives. So we've got to look out for damning curses. Oh, heck. Alright, so a bit of trouble here. Um, let's get rid of Fleetness. Okay, so that's going to die, then summon a Husk. Which that will kill. So I'm going to want to play... Um, how am I going to do this? Let's have a look. I think playing Horn of Ages here and just attacking this to start off with will be the best play, and then maybe play focus next turn to try and kill it. Kill it. I seem to have that won't be attacking next turn, this will, I can not worry about that uh, all too much. Uh, and we'll play Caller's Bane here, because uh, this will get an attack through with my idol, that will attack that, that will attack the husk, and we can get a nice attack in, and we'll take one damage. And there's the husk. 
which is now dead. Tapiolus. We are having to deal with our opponent's creatures because he's playing quite a lot of big threats, which is quite annoying. Uh, but we are just about dealing with them. Knowing that all our stuff's attacking each turn uh, is good. Languid isn't good. Um, let's see what I can do. I've got Decimation. Uh, let's get rid of the Skirmisher. Another Horn of Ages. Okay, so um, we are going to want to deal with all of these. Decimation will kill that, which is okay I suppose. Uh, I could use movement ability, uh, they've all got move 1 to move down here and engage with this lot. Or I can play Cordus Bane, get another attack in on the idol, and maybe just try and wait him out. Uh, which I think I actually can do, we're going to play... it's a bit risky, uh, but I think I can get away with it. Uh, we're going to keep attacking this idol still, uh, so we can actually move up next turn. That languid on there really affected my play, really. Okay, it's a double cordless bane. Reduce them all down to seven, which is good. My curse. Okay, so that's going to really annoy me. It means I have to start separating them slightly or get my crown of strength. So, so now get rid of wing soldier. I've got a pushback. Right, so pushback means I can get rid of that, kill this row. Take damage from my curse still, however, um, not all too bothered. Because yeah, they can get one more turn out of it before I have to separate them. There's the thing we just pushed back. Now, as long as we don't kill anything else, uh, these harvesters won't attack, which means we can survive, hopefully. Uh, let's get rid of Spearman. Got another decimation, that's good. So we can get an attack in here on these idols. That would be nice. Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? I want to avoid the Maya Curse here because it will kill both of these units. So, I think we're going to do... hang on, what would be the best play here? That will do four there. I'll go down to 1, that will go down to 5, 4, so that will be on 3, 4, 1. 3, 4, 1. Uh, now we're going to target this idol then, because that's on 3. That will die to a decimation. And then we can play Wing Shield. Sadly, this. What do I want? I think I'd rather that die, so I played that in a poor position. If this has got Cordus Bane on. Uh, that means we have to move that forwards there. So that was a bit of a misplay there, but a bit of a wing shield, but oh well. One one three. Okay, so we need to get the decimations going now. There's the soul steel. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is important now. We can get rid of fleetness. We can then move these units up here. Target that idol, so that now idol's now dead. Now we've got two idols dead to decimation, and we just happen to have two decimations. Now there is a problem with the fact that these two are attacking. Uh, so if he does manage to kill all my units, these two are going to attack and I'm going to lose. Which isn't nice. However, I think we're just going to have to risk it. So we're going to play decimation here. And hope he can't kill me. So damning curse here, soul steal, anything you do to kill one of my units means I'm dead. Cluster hex. Rot eater. Just like got away with it. So this has been a really unusual game. Usually I win with like round seven or eight, but you managed to put up a bigger defence. Uh, I can still win decimation set, so there you go. Uh, prioritising the idols and whatever allowed me to win. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that deck tech. Uh, I've got plenty of these coming up, uh, with all the stuff I'll be doing with Tessa with this patch. And I hope you like the way I did it. I'm trying to do it a bit more structured and talk about things a bit more instead of going, yeah, that sort of thing in two minutes, because that's just not good enough, is it? Uh, so there you go. Mono order aggro. If you can come up with a better name for it, then great. People have be calling it tempo order. Uh, but if we come up with something cool, then it'll be quite good. So yes, I'm going to be playing with some other account and ranking up with it, which will be fun. So if you want to offer me a cheaper Wings Captain Fleetness, please do. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.